already. So, it is now the next day, and this is, this has had plenty of time to dry. Typically, from what I read on the can, you want to wait about two hours in between each coat, and it has been like, well, basically the whole next day. <laughs> so, you can, if you kind of look at it, you can tell the difference, at least in real life. You can tell the difference, the inside is a little bit like, not glossy, but shiny which I kind of like because it implies, like, not implies, but it kind of shows you the parts that you did and didn't get. I got up here and on the inside, and I accidentally coated in the arrows. So we officially have my plans on the inside of this wood. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go put on the horses and then put on the second layer of the polyurethane. the entire thing in the second layer of polyurethane you can kind of see like the white right there um, because I've t taken like a couple minutes away from this to go check mail and do all that kind of stuff some of it has dried but you can see the parts that I just recently did because they're kind of like a milky white but kind of is a good example I guess of how just after drying for a little bit it turns nice and clear so you don't have to worry about that but yeah so that is the second layer I'm gonna do like one or two more today just to make sure that it's like fully waterproof and then I'm gonna go ahead and silicone it after. Alrighty, so it has been like two to three hours later um, and the second coat has completely dried. We're gonna go ahead and go do the third coat and it looks pretty dang good. What I was surprised with is that it's still rough. Like it's, you can tell that like there's stuff there but it's rough, so I'm wondering if that's like a way that it sticks together, or maybe I'm gonna have to apply more coats because it's plain wood. Um, but they recommend about three coats, and the guy that I watched on YouTube who used this, um, he only did two coats on just bare wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and go paint it again, and it's just the same as, as last time, so I don't think I need to film the whole thing. But yeah, so we are going to go ahead and go do that. We just did the third layer. I just had a little helper say hello. <laughs> so essentially, we went ahead, we painted, or I guess sealed the whole thing. That's the third layer, so we should be good after this one is fully dry. I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz it with water and see if it kind of turns the water into little like beads of water on the surface instead of soaking into the wood. I'll have a dry napkin <laughs> so that in case it doesn't work, I can just wipe it up real quick. But yeah, so that's what we are going to do. And then after this, once this is all dry and um, if it's wicking away water correctly, then we will go ahead and silicone it. So yeah. So it has been a full 24 hours. I did four coats. All four coats are completely dry. And now I'm gonna go ahead and silicone it. Um, we cannot find the caulking gun. So we are going to go ahead and, <laughs> and use a screwdriver to push the back. I'm going to basically line it and then I have a pair of gloves that I'm going to kind of like smooth it out to make sure it's all a good level so that it cures correctly. And it is a cooler part of the day so it'll have time to cure overnight. But let me see. I'm using the DAP window, door, and siding, 100% uh, waterproof, 100% silicone. It is flexible, it's for indoor or outdoor use. 
Um, the only bad thing is this has a longer cure time. It's like 24 hours, which honestly isn't that bad. But uh, if you want to take a couple more dollars, like three to five more dollars, you can get one that cures in like nine hours. So yeah, um, but I'm going to use this one. I just know that this one works. So let's go ahead and go do that. So, little update. The caulking gun, uh, or we still couldn't find the caulking gun, and either I am not strong enough, or this bottle is very stubborn because it would not open with the dang screwdriver pushing it at the bottom. So I just chopped the top off. It's not the prettiest, but honestly that doesn't matter too much to me because this whole wall is going to be covered in expando foam and all that kind of stuff so that I can make a um, realistic uh, background for Leonardo and then all of the other corners or anything that anybody could see is going to be covered up by bioactive dirt so or not dirt but uh, bioactive substrate so yeah doesn't really matter 